In this video, I'm going to tell you the ways that you can learn medical terminology for free or cheap to prepare for a career in medical coding. Hey there, I'm Victoria. I'm a medical coder, auditor, educator, and content creator. And on my channel, I provide tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you be successful in a medical coding career. So in order to be successful in medical coding, you have to understand medical terminology. You don't need to have clinical experience. You don't need to know everything, but you have to have a good base knowledge of medical terminology to be successful. But it doesn't have to break the bank and there are ways that you can do this that are easy and fun and very affordable. So let's break it down. But before we do, let me tell you about today's sponsor, which is Preppy. If you're someone who has no experience and you're like, Victoria, just give me the roadmap on how I go from zero experience to job ready in six months or less on my own terms from home without having to step foot in the classroom, just easy, what's the best way to do it? You want to sign up for my free medical coding masterclass. It will give you everything you need to know. It's going to tell you step by step. These are all the things you need to do to be successful in this career. And then it's going to tell you about Preppy, which is the program that I recommend that checks off all of those boxes. You can just head on over to medicalcodingmasterclass.com or you can check the link in the video description. Now, one of the cool things about medical terminology is it doesn't really change a lot from year to year. So it's not like we discover new organs within the human body. So even if you're doing a course or a training online, that's from years ago, it's still gonna be relevant to today. The really the key to learning medical terminology is learning all of the different prefixes and suffixes. And then when you learn those, you can combine them together and figure out all of the different terms. Knowing the prefixes, suffixes, and root terms is really going to give you that strong foundation that you can pretty much piece anything together. But of course, you want to learn them in some sort of structured way. So that's why one of the first things you can do to learn medical terminology is check for online courses. There's places like Coursera, Udemy, there might even be things on like LinkedIn Learning, or check with some of your local libraries or community colleges because sometimes since this again is something that doesn't change, they have to don't have to do a lot of maintenance on courses about things like medical terminology, you might be able to find some that are free or very cheap. And because we're in just the era of learning and technology all over the place, some of those online courses might be housed right here on YouTube. There's actually a ton of nurses that do some really, really good med term videos right here on YouTube. There's also JJ Medicine, which is great. One of the top ones I recommend is if you know Hank, Hank does Crash Course a &P, which is phenomenal. It's a very engaging, very visual, very wonderful way to learn some of those terms and learn anatomy, physiology, med term. I'm gonna link some of my favorites in the video description. So when you're done with this video, you can head over there and check some of them out. And actually just go ahead and check out some of the other things that are in the video description because you can find links there as well to recommendations I have on books and my merch line as well. Now, another cool way to learn medical terminology is if you think of it like kind of what it is, another language, how do we learn other languages these days like Duolingo and stuff, right? So there are apps that you can download on your phone to learn medical terminology. So you can go on the Play Store and just kind of search around, see there's things like interactive quizzes, there's games that might be helpful. Uh, so there's lots of apps in the App Store that are just waiting for you to download and help you hone in on some of your skills. So if you want, you can just kind of bypass those large books or those lengthy classes and just start using some of these apps to learn medical terminology like today. So those tools are great if you have maybe zero budget. Now, if you have a little bit of budget, there's other things you can do like flashcards. These ones I have are the medical terminology flashcards. I'll link these uh, below as well. There are a thousand flashcards in here and they are just things like, again, your, your root words, your prefixes, your suffixes. So if I were to pull one out of here, this is kind of what they look like. It shows me that uh, Kino and that means empty. It's something relatively inexpensive and, you know, flashcards have been around for forever and they still just stand the test of time. And honestly, these are probably not even a bad investment for like AAPC chapters. If your speaker bails and you have to come up with some kind of like game in the last minute, you can just be like whipping out your flashcards and go like, okay, well, we're going to do, we're going to break up into groups and do flashcard games and whoever wins, you know, they get a gift card. Or you could make like a paper crown out of old code books and then whoever wins the game gets crowned coding king or queen. So cool. And as far as anatomy, there are like anatomy coloring books. There's some that are thin, there's some that are 
quite involved like this one that I have. Again, I'll link this one below as well. This is the Anatomy Coloring Book 4th edition and it's by Pearson. They make a lot of educational materials, but yeah, some of these are, are very, very detailed. So if you ever wanted to learn the muscular system of the upper limb and you want to get, you can even get yourself, you know, some of these like fancy metallic uh, colored pencils like I have and maybe combination thing. Maybe you learn and you relax at the same time as you're learning and doing your adult coloring book. And on the topic of books, of course, you can go to your local library and rent. I'm sure there's a plethora of books available, maybe not directly in your local library, but a lot of them have networks. They could maybe rent one from across the county and bring it into you. But there's lots of different books that you can just generally find, like medical terminology for dummies. If you wanted to start there, you know, that's a very basic beginner type of book. But of course I'm saving the best for last. This is my favorite book. There is a fourth edition of this if you can get a hold of it. Otherwise third edition is fine as well. This book is medical terminology and anatomy for coding, which means it is specifically made for medical coding people. So when it's teaching you med term, it also gives you examples of how this specifically applies to ICD-10-CM examples, CPT examples. It even gives you little snippets of like like mock electronic medical record systems, how things might look in there, and even some exercises that you can do along the way. So my gold star top recommendation, if you're like, I wanna learn med term and I wanna get into a career in medical billing and coding, this is the book you want. Again, they do have a fourth edition. It is red, get that one if you can. Otherwise, third edition is fine. The only big difference is whatever code changes that have occurred from the third edition to the fourth edition, that's what's really changed in the editions. Not so much the med term itself, but the portions that relate to medical coding. And of course, the answers to the exercises are included in the back of the book. So learning medical terminology, like learning any language can seem like this monumental task, but it really doesn't have to be because there are just so many free, cheap, affordable, engaging resources available. So whether you're completely new to learning med term or you're trying to brush up, there's going to be something that will fit exactly what you need. But generally speaking, like start with the basics, learn the root words, the prefixes, the suffixes, and that will help give you that base knowledge that you can build on from there. And then you can go into books, flashcards, apps, anything that works for you. Once you have that strong foundation, then you can build up from there. With just a little bit of effort, you can improve your medical terminology skills and become more effective as a medical coder. So what is your favorite way to learn medical terminology or to brush up on your skills? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, just keep on coding on.